Greetings and welcome to Old Drunken Discography, where old friends and fans come together to BS, argue, occasionally agree, and discuss a musical artist. This week's artist is The Who, and we will be listing our top seven songs from The Who. With me is Tim. I got more than seven. <laughs> and Heimster, who is over there doing his own thing. <laughs> Really interesting. <laughs> Love it. We got to get Heimster back as a rotating guest. Oh, oh yeah, or as a rotating something. <laughs> now, Tim, I know you've been dreading this one. Yeah, I have. So I, I say you should start off the playlist. Oh, okay. As well, I think there's only track. one way to start off this playlist. What's that? I'm going to take the first song they played from Live at Leeds, and we're going to start with an Ant Whistle classic, Heaven and Hell, from Live at Leeds. Okay. All right. I don't know where Banger. My... There it is. Oh, it's not listed here. Shoot. <laughs> That's in the uh, uh, extended release. Yeah. Yeah, Heaven you know, and hell. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I'm you know, we talked to about this. You done. We know Nothing all of Tim's well. picks are going to be some weird non-album release here. I'm, I'm trying not to, but that one's got to be on. That, that's the only way to start it. It's got the intro. It's perfect. All right. All right, Heimster. Number seven. Number seven. Um, 1921. <laughs> All right. Excellent choice. Thank you. You know, I'm going to... I'm going to go off of... It's hard because I don't think this album's gonna get any representation unless I do it. I'm gonna go. It's your turn. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm going with. All right. So, Heimster, you go first this time. That's how. Okay. We do it. Number six is uh, "I've Known No War." What album is that? Uh, it's uh, it's hard. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> You're getting two in a row there. Two in a row. Well, I mean, you as far as you picking one, and yeah, yeah. All right, I've got. Wow, that's a good closing track, though. But I actually got two choices. I'm going to go with 905. Is that right? That's an interesting choice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 905. I got I, each line I have like this or this or this or this. So I'm just picking one of my list for each line. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more than 7, guys. Yeah, there is. There is a lot more than so. It's really, it's really quite remarkable um, how much of their catalog has penetrated culture, and how much of it is essential listening. Sure. Oh, you know, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm doing some, some deep cuts here, um, sort of to, 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 to spite the whole process because <laughs> that's us. And that's why you're here. That's <laughs> us too. <laughs> that's why we need yeah, that I know. part of me that. now just wants to keep continue on the ant whistle train yeah sure. <laughs> it's its um, own list yeah um yeah Ooh. yeah why not off of uh who by numbers let's go success story mm, nice All right, do I go My Generation Leads 
Odorano or Marianne with a shaky hand. Those are my three choices for the fifth spot. Those are all excellent choices. I'm, I, I'm, I, you got to get my generation. I'm just going to type it. The Leeds version. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's back to me again, then? Yep. Why not? All right, I'm going to take us back to Tommy then and then go with Sensation. Nice. Good, I yeah, I had a tie here for number five between Sunrise, I Can't Reach You, and Won't Get Fooled Again. And you know what? I'm going to go with I Can't Reach You. Yes. <laughs> Excellent choice. I do love that song. It's a beautiful song. Uh, Tim, we are back to you at first. You're back to me already. Okay. Um, I mean... We gotta throw a bargain on there. Uh, thanks oh, a thank, lot. Yes. Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's good. That's good because that was my next one. I like this, this. Normally, I get upset when people steal my picks, but in this case, you can steal have, away, right? Steal away. Yep. <laughs> this is another opportunity. <laughs> now I'm gonna go with. Oh, I mean, you gotta have sell out on here. Do you go Mary Ann or do you go Odorano? I, you, you know what, you this one because it's more. If, I mean, I'd probably go Odorano, but you can't, you can't lose. In my mind, I'm, I'm thinking the people who would listen to this playlist might not know the Who, and that they should definitely hear this song. That's okay. My, my thought process. Okay. All right. Who fan yeah. might be like, what the No, fuck? no, no. You don't you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to qualify your choice. I'm good. That's a good song. I'm good. I wasted bags and bags of weed on all these songs, so <laughs> many, many baggies. And that's why when I upload to YouTube I always hit that little check mark, not for kids. Yeah. Oh, did, I, did I do something bad here? No, 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 not at all. I'm sorry. L listen, Donnie and Marie fans, I don't do that anymore. So, <laughs> if there's any consolation there, there you go. All right, what's your uh, number four? Oh, Jeepers Creepers! Um, I'm gonna go with Helpless Dancer, Quadrophenia. All right. You definitely need some uh, quadrophenia on here. Yeah. yeah. There's too many. I try to get one song from each album, but there's just there's too many. No, there's it's sort of impossible with seven. All right, I think Heimster, you're up first this time. Okay. Um, I think it's a, a tie here between Long Live Rock and Pure and Easy, and I think I'm going to go with Pure and Easy. I'm still eyeing that vinyl. That's going to be my next purchase, I think. Mm. Nice. All right, Tim. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a deep cut. I don't think it's on the album proper. It's on the expanded release of Odds and Sods. Uh, there's a beautiful song called We Close Tonight. Yeah. I think it's a Quartophenia outtake. Okay. I'm yeah, sorry. no, I, I, should be I love the lyric. Be. I love the drum intro. I love the humor. I love, uh, it's just a fantastic song. Yeah, it's a Keith Moon ditty. <laughs> it's fun. 
Gone song. Yeah. Two more slots. I know, I know. It's just wrong. All right, I'm, I, I'll go with my favorite closer, and that's "Love Ring Over Me." It's a beautiful song. No arguments. I'm gonna go with "Drowned." Drowned. Yeah. From Quadrophenia. Ooh, we got what? a lot of quad on here then. It was hard. I thought, you know, either drown or imagine a man. That's a good one too. <laughs> All right, Tim. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm going to go anyway, anyhow, anywhere. Bunch of lads. Was that, that's not on an album, is it? Um, I think it's on the first one, isn't it? Is it not yeah, on, it's the... on a meaty BD. Okay, yeah, pull it from there. Or even better, pull the BBC session. Oh, all right. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, whatever. It's a great song. Great song. Doesn't matter the version. No, yeah, that that, that is a good one. Yeah. Not, not a lot of early Who representation on this list, but... I know. you got to get some in there. Just wait. I'm going to go ahead and say my number one Who song has always... Always been... I can see for miles, mm. and I know it's a single. No, oh, good. That's great. But uh, I, it's my favorite. It, it's yeah. one of my earliest memories. Yeah, sure. It's driving, my dad was driving to work, and the sun wasn't even up yet. I don't know why I was in the car with him. I guess my mom maybe was dropping him off. And on the radio, I can remember. I can see for now. This was like I was I had to be like under five years old, and I, I remember that song. And I also remember Tom Petty's "American Girl." Mm. But, so yeah that one always it's so it sounds so futuristic yet not it's weird yeah right? totally yeah totally yeah I'm gonna go with Substitute what album's that on? Uh, it's on uh... <laughs> Greatest Hits Meaty no. Beaty is it is it not on it's not on an album not on Who Sings My Generation. Oh, there it is. Substitute. It's a single? Yeah, it's on yeah, Beatty Beatty. No, no, yeah, it, it is on an album, isn't it? Isn't it on... Um... I feel terrible not knowing this. Not on an album. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. Huh. No, it's, it, if it's on anything, it would be on... It would be on... Um, my generation, but I guess not. I guess it's not, huh? Well, then if I'm going to go with a version of Substitute, uh, then it'll be the Live at Leeds version. Honestly, yeah, could, I think that's the correct choice. This yeah. whole playlist could just be Live at Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> it could. It could. Yeah. Uh, for my final song, I'm going to put Tommy in its entirety. No. Um, uh... <laughs> Very sneaky there, son. Yeah, that's some skeezy shit. Man, there's so many good ones. The Last Lighthouse one, Project. huh? <laughs> Last you one. know, the Heimster mentioned it. Uh, Long Live Rock's got to be on here. Hmm. Long Live Rock? Yeah. Yeah. love that song i love the message i love that it's still relevant today uh we were the first band to vomit at the bar and find the distance to the stage too far meanwhile it's getting late at 10 o'clock rock is dead they say long live rock 
Look, Tim, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have my bonus. Oh, you, you okay. can have my bonus because I know you struggled with this list. So, okay, yeah, I'll take it. You can have my bonus track. Your bonus is gonna be the kids are all right. Why you gotta do that to me? Because <laughs> <laughs> that song's awesome. That is that is a good song, but that's like the pop punk song. I see you stereotyping me. <laughs> No, it's got to be on there. It does, yeah. That's a good one. And I think for my bonus, I'm going to take pictures of Lily. Oh, yeah. That is such a good one, too. Mary Ann should be on here, too. What? All right, Heimst, you get one extra bonus track. Bob O'Reilly. Bear. <laughs> that's, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Bear. That's, yeah. <laughs> Come on. No argument Man. there. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty salt. That's a pretty solid little compilation right here, though. Yeah. That's, that's a, you know, if you haven't heard the Who, click, you know, click the playlist link down below. It'll play all these songs right after this video. Like magic. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this week. I want to give a shout out to Heimster for stepping up, helping us out. It's been a blast. Absolutely. Sure. Thank gotta, you, gentlemen. We got to get them back again for something else. Very unique experience for me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Hit that subscribe button and, and get us to our goal of 690 subscribers. <laughs> And we want that by St. Patrick's Day. By St. Patrick's Day. Mm. That reminds Goal. me. <laughs> the week of St. Patrick's Day, it'll be Def Leppard week, so i got to drink green beer for Def Leppard. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> what you got there, Heimsta? I've got my uh, Amazing Journey book. Oh, by nice. Mark Ian Wilkerson. It's like an encyclopedia. Great, great book. Very well researched. Yeah, this this is a fascinating band. Yes, like, I'm always <laughs> when Tim picks a band, I don't I don't dread it. I get I get interested. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay, what's it gonna be now? You know, because he he's giving me some weird crap, <laughs> but it's all been good. So, well, and this is just one of those discographies that like if I was if I had to only listen to one discography the rest of my life. This is a serious contender. Yeah. It just keeps on giving. It does. Um, yeah. yeah. I do you know it was my dad's. I think he was like the who was his favorite band. I think what happens is when you, when you become a who fan, it sort of becomes this really obsessive thing. Um, and you tend to measure other bands up against them. Um, you know, they don't have the greatest studio output in terms of the n amount of material. A lot of other bands have, have put out a lot more stuff. Um, but so much of it is just essential listening. Um, it's, the, you know, for me, it's the sound of FM. It's when certain songs come on, you know, you're just turning it up. There's a joy to it. The bad thing about it, though, is once you know the who, it kind of taints everything else after that. <laughs> it, it, it does. It does. Yeah. You know? American also, Idiot no longer seems like a groundbreaking album. <sighs> yeah. Which is fine, you know, like, because, you know, many people heard that album and they haven't heard Quadrophenia. And that's okay. Right. Uh, eventually, they'll get to Quadrophenia, and then they'll 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 see that oh, clearly Green Day's heard Quadrophenia too. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean they covered a quick one. You know, um, yeah. the Fish uh, covered all of Quadrophenia too at one show, one of their Halloween shows, and they nice. did, they did a great job, really nice homage. And when I saw them, um, some years later, I don't remember exactly what year. 
um, they were doing, uh, you know, their standard playlist. They did an intermission, and the first song after intermission was Drown. And they just exploded into it, and I jumped out of my seat. I was just absolutely <laughs> It was incredible. Very cool. Yeah. That, that, that's the, the, the great thing about The Who is you got some like hardcore punk band can cover the who or some hippie jam band can cover the who, you know, but they've, yep. they've inspired so many different That's right. That's genres right. of music. Yeah. They're elder statesmen of the medium. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I've said it in, in this uh, series, but I'll make sure I say it here again. Pete Townsend is a strong contender for the greatest composer of the 20th century the output he put here and what he does like i mean you know you can argue zappa you can argue like henry mancini or john williams or whatever um but pete townsend's got to be in that discussion yeah yeah danny elfman pretty good too yeah yeah (laughs) yep all right well We got anything else to add? We did it. We made it. Less alcohol than the Rolling Stones. (laughs) All right. Well, once again, thank you, Heimster, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, We'll see you guys next week for Def Leppard. We'll have a returning special guest for that one. Stick around. Be safe. Make good decisions. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have played them all.